So we're here with the Fisk Alloy. So hello, so who are you? Yes, hello. So my name is Petra Panage. I'm VP of Sales and Marketing for Fisk Alloy. So what are we looking at here? Uh, so we look here at our finest, thinnest wire that we do out of copper alloy, a very special copper alloy, which we name Percon. It's Percon 28, our latest innovation, uh, which really marries the highest tensile strength with the highest connectivity that you can find worldwide. And we draw this, as you can see, to very fine and ultra-fine gauge sizes. We're looking here at a sample of 12 micron, which is a third of your human hair. Very so fine. tiny, tiny, thin... Uh, uh, thread for yeah. what do you call it? It's a it's a copper alloy wire, and it conducts uh, obviously electrical current, and it's used uh, in all sorts of applications, medical being one, because well, as you know, in patient monitoring systems and surgery applications, you need very fine, thin cables that are very flexible. Uh, and so this is one of the, the usage or the applications of this wire. And then we also found uh, the e-textiles market very interesting because um, obviously this uh, needs also very fine and ultra-fine wire to be embedded into fabric invisibly. This is invisibly. what the show here is all about. You have and different uh, color or what is the different material well, here? This is a silver plating here, uh, which is very important because of temperature um, <laughs> protection against high temperatures, solderability issues, and so on. Rogen. Is this one gold? This one is gold, yeah. There's gold here. Um, so, how's uh, the strength of this? Well, the strength of this material of Percon 28 is uh, 80 KSI or 550 megapascal strength with an 85% connectivity and a minimum of 6% elongation. And in this combination, it's quite unique worldwide. And nobody else can do this? Nobody else can do this, no. Nobody? nobody. So, uh, do you have a lot of customers? We do have a lot of customers, yes. Uh, a lot of uh, the aerospace industry is buying from us, a lot of the medical industries. The automotive industries, robotics, jewelry, actually too, and hopefully e textiles more and more. E textiles are going to be huge. Very, we know, yeah. In about 10 years, we should sell a lot of this stuff into the e textiles market as well. And how do you make it? And where do you make it? We make it in Hawthorne, New Jersey, so that's just outside Manhattan, half an hour from Manhattan, and this is where our plant is. Uh, we, have, we are a medium sized company with about 200 employees. And this is where we break down the rod of this and then draw it to fine sizes, plate it with all sorts of materials, gold, silver, nickel, tin. And here you have a silver. So we also, interesting for you is that we also combine these individual uh, single end uh, wires to stranded conductors. So we would put seven ends together or 19 ends, or up to a thousand individual ends to make role play constructions, which are very, very flexible. Basically, three advantages of this uh, Percon alloys. One is the increased flex life. Higher the tensile strength, the higher the flex life. This has exceptional flex life in all cables that need to be moved around. Um, very good softening resistance when it's exposed to higher temperature during the insulation process, for example, 350 degrees C, 400 degrees C, the brake load doesn't drop at all. And third, uh, opportunities for size and weight saving. You can really downsize the gauge size without sacrificing um, mechanical strength levels. And this makes this material so unique and very interesting for various applications. And you manufacture it how? Is there a secret pr process? Well, we do have the, we do own the recipe of the copper alloy, and it's get it gets a cast um, in the certified houses, and then we get it, and we draw it, plate it, strand it, and is one roll one, it, and so on. Is one wire? This is one continuous length of wire. Yes. I hope my 4K camera can capture the cable is right here.